hello hello welcome to my channel my dear friends my name is Abhilash and I'm a trader next door in this video I'll be analyzing the chart of euro dollar for Friday <laughs> if you're watching my videos for the first time you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis so let's get started so my dear friends this is the photo chart of DXY US dollar currency index usually we get to see a silent market before the storm the storm means I'm talking about NFP, non-form payroll, okay. So, usually we get to see a silent market before the storm, but yesterday, yesterday market showed extreme volatility, DXY started falling. As a result, we saw gold, uh, gold uh, euro, USD, GBP, USD all started going up. And you can still see that the selling pressure on DXY is still very much present. Usually, we do not get to see much movement before a big event like NFP, CPI. But today, we can see that though we have a big event coming on US session, but still, market is or DXY is still facing uh, selling pressure from above. So, as a result, my dear friends, you need to be careful after NFP, but before NFP as well. So this is the uh, forexfactory.com economy calendar here you can see apart from NFP we have many events lined up so my dear friends please be careful with your open positions as I always say beginners new traders traders with low capital please avoid trading after NFP there will be plenty of trading opportunities there you will find plenty of trading opportunities so you don't need to gamble with your hard earned money. Don't need to gamble your hard and money on a day that you do not understand because whenever fundamentals dominate the market, technicals usually fail. So please be careful. Do not gamble with your hard and money. Capital protection should be your first priority always. Before we proceed further, I would like to mention about Chart Prime, who has sponsored the today's video. Those who want to generate their own buy and sell signals, please watch the video carefully because Chart Prime is one of the best custom indicator service in the trading world right now. With the tools available in Chart Prime, you can not only generate buy and sell signals, you can also use these tools in your analysis for additional confirmation. They also have a trading community on Discord where they post regular trading ideas. Trust me guys, I have been using chart prime for a couple of months and their service is really really awesome if you really want to know how these indicators work you can just go to their website chartprime.com and just go to the tutorial section you will see the functioning of these indicators okay my dear friends as we are traders we believe in probability so there's I won't say that this, these indicators are 100% accurate, but with proper risk management, you can definitely make some money. Let me show you. This is the 50 minute chart of gold. You can see the signals generated by chart prime. Okay. See possible reversal down. See, it means that we need to take a sell position here. Possible reversal up means we need to go for a buy position. Possible reversal down means we need to go for a sell position. If not trend reversal, at least you can expect 40, 50 pips on daily basis with the help of the software. But yes, the tool also generates false signals sometimes because 100% accuracy is not possible as we all know. But yes, the accuracy is certainly very, very good. Along with the buy and sell signals, you can also see that they have an oscillator where they also provide the overbought, oversold, divergences and many other things. Just watch the tutorial, you will know all the things. You can just go with the one month subscription and just try the product yourself. I'm very much sure that you will love the product. And my dear friends, if you use the link in the description below, you'll also get 30% discount. You may also scan the QR code available on the screen for faster registration. Check them out. So for DXY, for DXY 105 to 104.90 is the level for the day. For, for the day means before NFP. So before NFP, if you see market coming down also, we can expect this level to act as support. Okay, And so we are still hoping that there will not be extreme volatility before NFP. But in case market shows some uh, selling pressure also, this level should be there to act as support for DXY. After NFP, what will happen? Nobody can predict the market and 
on the chart of dxy we do not have any strong level also okay the extreme levels are quite far away so there is no point of discussing about levels like 102.60 or 107 108 those levels are quite far away so we do not have any immediate very strong support resistance that will um, that will be helpful for us after nfp so after nfp we don't have any proper levels but before nfp before NFP, we can hope that 105 to 104.90 may act as the support. And as the market is an uptrend, so I'm not talking about resistance because we can clearly see market is forming higher highs. Okay. So if we look at the news, you can see Euro gives us the advances as the dollar loses traction. Okay. Now let's talk about the chart of Euro dollar. So yesterday we saw that our level worked nicely i won't say that it worked permanently no level is permanent in the market but yes it gave us opportunity and it worked because when euro usd when in fact gbp usd was going up okay uh, other usd pairs were also trying to go up euro usd was struggling around this level and we saw and we saw a perfect reversal of 25 30 pips that we were expecting and we got the move as well after that you can see that again market face selling pressure around fibonacci 38.2 percent retracement level so the, the point i'm trying to make here is that okay the, the fibonacci that we have drawn okay is very much valid because we can see market respecting our levels from time to time so and fibonacci 0 0.5 is one of the most powerful level here so before nfp we can definitely expect that if market goes up again market will face some selling pressure around this level that is 1.0610 so this is the resistance first resistance before nfp and in case market breaks this level then we have second resistance around 1.0630 Okay, so 1.0610 is the first level before NFP and 1.0630 is the second level before NFP. And in case market starts falling, okay, my dear friends, listen to me carefully and watch the chart carefully. In case market starts falling before NFP, again before NFP I'm saying, you can see here, this, this new Fibonacci drawing is also working perfectly, the retracement level, because this is the level from where market bounced right now. So before NFP, if market starts coming down, then you can expect 1.0570 to act as support. And secondly, you have support around 1.0561 as the second support. So these two are the supports before NFP. So the Two resistances are 1.0610, 1.0630. Two supports are 1.0570, 1.0561. These two are the levels that you can expect the market to uh, receive some support. My dear friends, in case market shows good volatility, okay, be careful, use your common sense. If you see the market is going up, market is hitting the resistance with big uh, green candle, obviously you should avoid <laughs> selling position, isn't it? So these are the levels that you can trust before NFP. After NFP, as you can already see that we do not have any major levels on the chart. In case market shows a big drop, okay, in case market shows a big drop or Euro USD shows a big drop, then the only reliable support level is around 1.0500 to 1.0480 that we have already discussed in many of our videos. The support level here. So in case euro usd falls badly this is the only support level where you can expect the market to get some support apart from this level we do not have any major support on the chart of euro usd and if we need, if i need to talk about um if i need to talk about resistance if i need to talk about resistance after nfp then this level may be may be the resistance for the day 1.070 around this level you can expect the market to receive some selling pressure after nfp if uh, dollar starts falling and euro usd starts moving up so be careful my dear friends as I always say please um, <laughs> act like a trader not a gambler that's that's my only request anyways this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so please follow proper risk management Bye-bye, take care.